tutorial, you'll learn how to use Filmic Pro's hardware settings to enable support for powerful third-party accessories such as the Moondog Labs anamorphic lens and SLR lens adapters like the Beast Grip Pro Depth of Field adapter for truly cinematic video capture. To access the hardware menu, tap the cog icon in the lower right, then tap Hardware. First up is support for the Moondog Labs anamorphic adapter, which was used to shoot the award-winning film Tangerine. Anamorphic lenses work by optically compressing your scene horizontally, which allows you to capture a 33% wider field of view than your phone's camera is capable of. And when de-squeezed in the app or in post, the correct proportions are restored, leaving you with an incredibly cinematic 2.4 to 1 aspect ratio. The Moondog anamorphic lens comes in a range of configurations depending on your device and mounting preference, but I like the 37mm version with the additional B-Script Pro mounting plate, which allows me to easily slide it over my iPhone lens when needed. As you can see, with Moondog support disabled, the horizontal distortion is obvious, and if I lower and raise the Moondog lens, it becomes clear just how much wider our field of view is when the Moondog's used. Next, if I tap to enable the Moondog anamorphic adapter, Filmic Pro will automatically de-squeeze any recorded footage for us, as well as displaying the correct proportions in the camera view, which makes framing easy. Below this, you can enable the option to de-squeeze Moondog preview only, which will allow you to accurately preview your shot in the camera view, but won't apply the de-squeeze to the recorded footage, allowing you to do this manually in post-production. Tap outside of the hardware settings menu to close it and frame your shot as you normally would by setting and locking the white balance focus and exposure, then tap record. The finished de-squeezed results are absolutely stunning and really help you to attain the much sought after film look right on your smartphone. If I return to the hardware settings, the next option is for when using an SLR lens adapter which will flip your image upside down. I use the B-Script DOF adapter which allows me to use any Canon EF mount lens with a fast aperture to achieve a shallow depth of field. As I slide the DOF adapter over my device's camera, you can see that the image is flipped upside down which makes framing, panning and tilting very difficult. By tapping to enable the 35mm image flip, the clip is recorded the right way up making framing a breeze as well as negating the need to manually rotate your clips in post. Whilst using a DOF adapter does degrade your video quality through the introduction of vignetting around the borders, which can be eliminated by zooming in or cropping in post, as well as the focusing screen texture being visible in low light, when used in bright, well-lit conditions, you can achieve beautiful results and use the shallow depth of field to direct the viewer's attention, as well as achieve optical zoom over your smartphone's digital zoom. Lastly, under the hardware settings menu, you have the ability to enable support for the cover photo lens case, which uses a mirror to allow you to discreetly shoot video with your device's camera pointing towards the ground. And by tapping to enable eye blazer support, Filmic Pro can control the eye blazer light's intensity and color temperature wirelessly via Bluetooth, and this will be covered in depth in a separate tutorial. Remember, if you're enjoying the Epic Guide to Filmic Pro, please like, share, and subscribe for more, and ask any questions you might have in the comments section. Thanks a lot for watching, and happy filming!